Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So listen, Portia Williams, Ultimate Girls Trip. You thought it was a wedding spinoff. You thought, you thought, you thought. Okay, we're going to get into some things. People.com. Portia Williams joining Ultimate Girls Trip on Peacock. Um, Portia Williams is packing her bags for the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. People can exclusively reveal. Um, filming begins July 18th in Thailand. Um, she'll replace Tinsley Mortimer in the cast who insiders say chose to exit production for personal reasons. Um, and this is quite interesting because Demoy, Demoy, whoever the hell that is, the blind item um, page was saying that Tinsley Mortimer um, was being replaced by Portia because of uh, the Roni legacy show. But then I was made aware that Tinsley Mortimer really is not Roni legacy. And on top of that, Luann and Sonia are filming their spinoff series right now. So I don't know how true this Des Moines news is. Okay. So maybe it is just personal reasons. Um, but some of the Roni fans seem to be really upset at this because they really like Tinsley. They wanted Leah to get the boot instead of Tinsley. So that's interesting. Um, so yeah, Portia Williams is replacing Tinsley Mortimer in Thailand for Ultimate Girls Trip. She will be starring on the show alongside Giselle Bryant of Real Housewives of Potomac. We do know that Giselle and Portia are really great girlfriends, so I'm super excited to see them blossom in, like, real life. Um, Candace Diller Bassett, that's going to be really interesting because we know Candace Diller had a lot to say about Portia in the press. And Portia, of course, had a lot to say about Candace Diller Bassett as well. But, you know, Portia was getting paid for it while Candace was talking about Portia for free. Um, Salt Lake City's Heather Gang, Whitney Rose, uh, such a snooze fest, they get on my nerves. Um, Real Housewives of Miami's Alexia and Marisol, and then Real Housewives of New York City alum, Leah McSweeney. So it's going to be really interesting. I don't know what the theme for Ultimate Girls Trip is going to be. At first, y'all were like, oh, it might be dynamic duos, but Leah McSweeney's going to be a lone soldier for New York City. Portia Williams is going to be a lone soldier for Atlanta. Candace and Giselle, I don't know how their relationship is faring out right now. Um, last time I checked, Candace was really upset at Giselle because Giselle was trying to make it seem like Chris Bassett, fine ass, was trying to get reggae decky at the damn reunion. So I don't really know what's going on with those two. And then um, I would say Heather Gay and uh, Whitney Rose are a duo. I don't know about dynamic. And then I also heard that they were going through it on their uh, latest season. So it's going to be interesting. They may have been torn about this whole Jen Shaw situation. I think some of the ladies were thinking guilty and some of the ladies were thinking innocent. But sis played guilty. Um, and then Alexia and Marisol, again, they are a duo. I don't know about dynamic, though. Now... That brings me to this wedding spinoff. I've been getting so many messages and DMs and comments under my videos talking about, oh my goodness, Portia's show has been greenlit. Why aren't you talking about it? I thought you were going to be talking about Portia today. Why aren't you talking about the news? This is huge. Our girl got a new show. And I'm like, y'all, hold on, hold on, holiday. Everybody calm your happy asses down. What the hell is going on? Now, I have certain information, but who the hell gave y'all that info? Who gave y'all that information? I'm just a little bit confused at this situation. So I had to go and do some digging. Um, now, first off, I'm going to just start this off by saying I cannot confirm nor verify nor deny no wedding spinoff. I don't know if a wedding spinoff is happening. What I can say is I hope a wedding spinoff happens. I really do hope it happens because this is going to be a very fabulous wedding. How do I know it's going to be a fabulous wedding? Because Portia has a fabulous life. She's going on fabulous trips. And she has a new fabulous husband with a new fabulous home. So the wedding, I would assume, is going to be beyond stellar. Now, with that also being said, um, I was told from a source that Portia said, I don't know if she said this months ago after the spinoff ended or if she said this more recently. But I was told that Portia at one point in time said to one of the folks in her close circle that she did not want to do the show again, Portia's Family Matters, because it made her look bad, which the show did make her look bad. Because how are you the villain of your own spin-off show? Okay, you're supposed to be the hero, not the villain, right? But she was out there in Mexico, you know, spinning and flipping and throwing plates and whatnot, and it was a whole hot mess, okay? So Portia, keep your hands to yourself. But with that being said, she said that she did not want to do it again because it made her look bad, which 
is really an interesting statement because, you know, I think the main reason why the show made her look bad is because her point of contention was her baby daddy and folks just sided with the baby daddy over her. Um, I feel like her relationship with Simon, I thought was going to be the thing that made her look bad, but it was really having her baby daddy on there that was making her look bad. And he was kind of like exposing the whole thing. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting. Um, with that also being said, I would assume that if she was to do a second spinoff or a season two of Portia's Family Matters or even a wedding special, that Dennis would not be a part of it. So I don't think Portia has to worry about that. Um... And then also, if Bravo comes with the right number, I do believe that um, she will sign on. Now, the thing about it is, is that I heard that you guys got this information about a wedding spinoff from some bloggers here on YouTube, which I found to be interesting because some of those same people were like, oh my God, Portia's going to be canceled. Bravo's never going to hire her again. And now they're reporting that she got this wedding spinoff. Um, so I also found that to be interesting. Now, here's the thing. This morning, we got the news about Ultimate Girls Trip. And then after Ultimate Girls Trip, I also, from a source, from my source, got this information saying that she told a very, 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 very close person in her circle that, or not she told, but someone who's a part of her very close circle said that there is no wedding special yet, which doesn't mean that there won't be one. It's just not one yet. Okay, so from the information that I've gathered there is no wedding special yet. Now, here's what I think may have happened. People in Portia's camp went and told some of the bloggers that Portia had a spinoff, which technically is true. But I think people were assuming that it was a wedding special and didn't think that it could have been Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip, which is kind of surprising that Portia would, would be joining this show Seeming as though she's literally in the thick of wedding planning. So she's going to be taking like 10 days off of wedding planning to do this show. But then again, she travels like every other day anyway. So this wouldn't be any different from her, different for her. At least she would be getting paid for it instead of spending her coins. So um, I think the messages kind of may have been lost in translation. Yes, she's a part of a new spinoff, but no, it's not the wedding special. The wedding special has not been confirmed yet, as far as I know. So, let me know how you guys feel about everything. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to create a great day.